everyone I talked to, everyone I had coffee with, everyone I was hanging out with, I would say, hey, can you put money into my movie? Or do you know of anyone who would put money into my film? Can you tell us more about how you wrote Definition, please? Yeah, so I was in a UCB sketch writing class in 2015, and every week we had to write a new sketch. So always coming up with new different ideas. And one of my sketches was entitled Spelling Bee Winners, Where Are They Now? Which was based on my fourth grade spelling bee experience. And if you research spelling bee winners, they are all doing amazing things. They are working for NASA. They are designing robots. They are winning the world poker tournaments. And, and I just thought it would be funny if one of these spelling bee winners grew up to be unsuccessful, a loser, living in their mom's basement, playing video games, just not doing much with her life. So that was, that was the gist of my sketch. And this was four pages long. And then I, in, at the end of 2016, I got into a Sundance screenwriting lab and I went to the screenwriting lab and it was really inspiring and amazing. And in 2017, a couple months later, I decided to go to the Sundance Film Festival for the first time. And I went as a Sundance influencer. Uh, Sundance asked me to take over their Instagram and their Twitter and go to certain events and interview people. And it was actually a great way to experience a first Sundance kind of within the Sundance family. And my friend Justin Chan's film Gook was playing there. And so I went to the premiere of Gook and was just completely blown away by the film. And I cornered him at his post party and I asked him how he got it made. And he said, I just uh, got money from my friends and family and we just went out and made it ourselves. And I was like, great, that's what I'm gonna do. So I went back home after that first Sundance and started jotting down ideas for Definition Please based on that sketch that I had written uh, two years prior. And then throughout 2017, I worked on the first draft. In 2018, I worked on subsequent drafts of the film. And a question, I started with that premise of Okay, what happens when a spelling bee winner grows up to not fulfill her potential? And I took that question and I asked, okay, what, what would be the reasons why this would affect her in, in not taking a job somewhere, in um, moving on with her life? And, and I decided to answer those questions by, oh, it's her relationships with her family, with her mom, with her dad, with her brother, and, and her community in general. And so I incorporated those aspects into my script. And as I believe at the end of 2018, I had my shooting draft of my script and I was ready to either uh, get a production company on board to shoot it or shoot it myself. And you approached family and friends? So <laughs> in terms of making the movie. I had gone back to Sundance in 2019, this time with HBO, and Justin's next film, Ms. Purple, was premiering there. And I got out of that screening and I was like, Justin has made two films in the time that I told him that I was gonna make my film. I am disappointing myself with not getting out there and shooting my film. Then and there I decided I'm gonna shoot Definition Please in the summer of 2019. And so this was January 2019. As soon as I decided, I got an email out of the blue saying that a show that I had sold to a studio was caught up in the merger, in the Time Warner merger, so they were now releasing the rights back to me along with sending me a gigantic check. So I was like, well, this is a sign because I had just decided to shoot my film so I took that check and put it into Definition Please, and I was the first money into my film as an investor. And then I got back from Sundance and I just went full force in raising money. Everyone I talked to, everyone I had coffee with, everyone I was hanging out with, I would say, hey, can you put money into my movie? Or do you know of anyone 
who would put money into my film. And so the thing with artists and actors in LA is they don't necessarily have a ton of money to just be willy-nilly investing in other people's films. But they do have cousins and they do have friends who are maybe necessarily not in the industry. So they want to dip their toes into the industry. And something that I noticed was that since I had already put money into my film, it was easier to get other investors on board and put money into the film. And then we just raised all the money and we were, as we were raising the money, we were prepping to shoot. So we were getting our crew together, we were getting our cast together, and I did not have auditions for the cast. I just texted my friends who I knew would be right for the roles, and a lot of them luckily said yes and were down to come to Greensburg to shoot my little film with me. And then we got to Greensburg and we shot the film. Where did you put everyone up? Did they stay at your parents' house? No, no. We actually got um, an extra producer came in at the last minute and we got this influx of money, which was really great. And we got to put everyone up at a Hampton Inn nearby. Oh, nice. okay. And they all had a blast. It was next to a Sheets. I don't know if you're from familiar with Sheets in Western Pennsylvania, but Sheets is an MTO sort of attached to a gas station, but they make these incredible sandwiches, especially breakfast sandwiches that I'm obsessed with, called schmiskets, schmuffins, schmagels, and the, just these delicious fresh foods. And the Hampton Inn was walking distance from a sheet, so a lot of our cast and crew also got obsessed with sheets <laughs> like I am. So that was really exciting. But the but what was also really amazing about the Hampton Inn was it was only about two or three years old. So it felt like a new hotel. And they had breakfast every morning. And, and I really believe in taking care of cast and crew. And it just makes the overall atmosphere of the film uh, just better. And if, if the cast and crew are happy, then you'll have a good product and everyone will be working well together. And, and I truly believe in that. So I was really excited to be able to put everyone up in, in a nice-ish hotel and give them rental cars and, oh, wow. um, and fly them out. And, and it was great. It's interesting because two of your, your very important projects all came with a found, like newfound money, like a check <laughs> that showed up that you weren't really expecting. I just find that interesting. Yeah, and you know what? Like sometimes when people get newfound money, they spend it in different ways. They'll put a deposit on a house. They'll take a trip. They'll um, d decide to start a family or what have you. And and for me, my priority has always been my work. And so I there is never any question of I'm going to put this money back into my work. Obviously, 